Why are keyword research tools so damn expensive? Why do people actually need them to rank their content online? And how do we find keywords for free utilizing free tools? Well, that's what we're gonna look at in this video, looking at five awesome keyword research tools that you can use to find brilliant keywords to rank new content online. So we'll be looking at finding out what keywords there are actually out there that you can target, how difficult they will also to actually rank for those keywords on the search engines. We'll also look at the competitive landscape that certain keyword tools allow us to see, which is super cool, I love this. We'll also look at the brainstorming phase of keyword research, where you can find those little hidden golden nuggets, plus a few other cool little things as well. So I'm excited for this one for you guys. My name's Kieran Doyle. If you're new here, I really do hope that I earn your subscription. If you're returning, thanks so much for being here, guys. Really, really appreciate it. If you like the content, give it a like and a subscribe. And let's get into this. So the first tool that we're actually going to look at is the Ahrefs Keyword Generator tool. Now, this is a free version of the tool. Uh, Ahrefs is quite an expensive tool to actually purchase itself, but it has so many great features actually inside of it. And this is just a watered down version of that, okay? But the thing that I love about the Ahrefs tool is that you can search on Google, Bing, YouTube, and Yahoo, or and Amazon. So what it basically does is it enables you to actually hone in on different search engines when you're creating your content. Because if you didn't know, which is a good thing to know, it's far easier to rank on Bing for almost like overly optimized content than it is on Google. Google has so many different factors related to actually ranking your content. Bing is much easier. You can actually create the content, but you do all their keywords in your titles, your URLs, your images, all that. And actually, it's far easier to get your post up to the top of the search engines in Bing than it is in Google. So let's look for one. We're just gonna put in blogging for beginners. And what you're gonna see here is you got blogging for beginners, then it's gonna give you a keyword difficulty. So blogging for beginners in itself, that's a keyword difficulty of 76. That's pretty, pretty high. It's not something that you're gonna go after as a straightforward keyword. And it's got a, a volume of 800 and updated over the last seven days, okay? So that's basically telling us that people are searching for it 800 times a month. And the last time that the, this data was updated was seven days ago. Then how to make money blogging for beginners, 55, 350 a month, et cetera, et cetera. You can scroll down, then you can find some keywords in here. What I like there, obviously, is that it gives you the keyword difficulty. Now, uh, Ahrefs also have a free keyword difficulty checker, which potentially I'll do another video related on as well. But also what I want you to check here is questions, okay? So this is gonna give you a good idea of questions that you can utilize when you're creating your content as well. Because as you know, the search engines are going more towards a natural language processing uh, ability within their listings and also when they're looking at content to rank. And that's because of this. They want people to actually be searching, utilizing their voice. If you insert keywords that have that NLP slant on it, which are questions, then they're gonna give you prevalence in the search rankings. Okay, so note that. Now the next tool that I wanna look at is called Solve or Solvles, S-O-O-V-L-E.com. And this has been around for an age, like for as long as I remember. This has been around and what it basically does is it looks at the different search engines and actually produces um keywords related to what's being searched on those search engines so i want to I'll, I'll show you what the, the best thing about this is let's go blogging b-l-o-t-g okay so first off uh three g's in there okay so first off what it does is it pulls from wikipedia uh, answers website or uh, youtube bing yahoo uh google and also amazon okay and you're able to switch whichever one you want by just using the cursor keys okay but what what i love here as well now this uh what you'll notice here is it's got search volume now that search volume is actually associated with my keywords everywhere okay so keywords everywhere is a sort of a paid well it is it is a paid tool but it's not a very expensive paid tool okay but what I want you to note here is this is brilliant for understanding the competitive landscape of what your content is about or what, what you're actually looking to rank for. So let's say that you are looking for blogging the boys. Okay. I don't know what that is at all. And you're going to search on Bing. All right. So you just click on that. What it's going to do is it's going to load blogging the boys 
on Bing, okay? And it's going to tell us that there are 60,000. Uh, that's from, again, from keywords everywhere. But what it's going to enable you to do is quickly look at the search landscape and check the different websites that are actually there. Understand if you're going after that keyword, who your competition is, okay? And again, you can do it for each one of them. You just put in again, blogging, and then you can click on Yahoo, tips on blogging for beginners, and it's gonna show you on Yahoo, et cetera, okay? So that's really good for understanding the search landscape of what you're looking to target. The next tool that I love, I've mentioned this in a previous video, is Keyword Sheeter. Okay, it used to be called something else, as you can see from the language on the screen there. So uh, again, this is a great tool when it comes to actually getting, it's, it's really good for starting uh, keyword research because what it's going to do is it's going to just scrape all these questions from the Google search bar and put them in here. Now, one of the things that I love about this when you're starting your research is that you can find some real little hidden gems in here. So in this instance, we're looking at blogging. So potentially there are keywords in here that are just going to start the brainstorming process. Find little niches in there. Or if you're thinking about lemonade and you put lemonade, you want to promote a brand of lemonade, then you put lemonade in there and then it's going to give you queries of what people are actually searching on Google search of things like pink lemonade, uh, non-alcoholic pink lemonade, all these different things that potentially are little niches that you can enter into or content that you can create about. This works extremely well with Google Keyword Tool and also Keyword Difficulty Checker with Ahrefs. That's a great little strategy, which potentially I'll show you in another video. The next tool I wanted to talk about, it's an old one again, and this is Google Trends. Now, this basically finds trending keyword data pulled from Google over the last amount of five years, okay? Now, you can choose the location that you want to search this trending data for and then actually do the search. So at the moment, it's in the United States. And what you do is you just put in a keyword here. Let's say just say stock market today, okay? What it's going to do is it's going to pull up information about news related to the stock market today that are going on within the USA. Now, you can change this, obviously, to worldwide, any country that you want. Let's say we changed it to Australia, okay? It's going to update the information on the stock market today for Australia. Down here, it's going to give you related topics to that stock market today. Inflation, Dow Jones, Toro Energy Company, Finance, Discipline. Okay, related queries, Australian stock market today, US stock market today, ASX today, uh, Australian stock market. And also, this is a great place to actually see if a term is going to what they call a breakout. Okay, so let me quickly show you this. So I just did a quick search for Taylor Swift there because we know she's obviously in the news all the time. Okay, what you can see on the related query side of things is there's been an increase of 900% in searches related to Taylor Swift jet number. Okay, so this is obviously people looking for when Taylor Swift is going to land in different locations and they can actually find the jet number so they can show up and hold their signs and hopefully meet her. Okay, then on the other side, you've got another one here that's called competition breakout. Okay, so let's click on this. And that basically means that this search term is exploding. Okay. So this is going to be an absolutely awesome search term to actually go in and rank for. We can see what it is. Sunrise Taylor competition. Okay. So this is, I, I, I don't know what that is at all. You'd have to do your Taylor uh, Swift research to find out what that is. Google Trends is an absolutely brilliant place that you can find keywords as they're about to break out or as they're breaking out, as their search is actually massively increasing. And finally, our last tool that we're going to look at today for keyword research is Gemini. Okay, now caveats on Gemini. Gemini is, it's changed how it's actually producing keywords for us, which is a bit of a, a, bit of a nuisance, to be honest. Um, it stopped being able to give us search volume and keyword difficulty. Now, that's what I've found so far, but it is absolutely brilliant at finding related keywords, finding keywords related to all of the different types of keywords that Google actually wants. So if you put in a keyword and you say, can you give me a list of NLP keywords related to this? It's going to be able to pull up a list of them. So let me put in an example. So I've just said, can you give me a list of NLP keywords related to my article, Blogging for Beginners in the UK? And what it's done here is it's pulled back a lot of different keywords that we can use, like high-level keywords, then content-specific keywords. And the ones that I like down here are keywords targeting search intent. Okay, so this is the intent of the person 
when they're actually searching for your keywords and, and we can actually use these in our content. So how to start a blog in the UK, best blogging platforms in the UK, free blogging tools, make money blogging in UK and the UK blogger community. Now we can actually integrate these into our content, create little bits about these within our content. So when a person is actually searching, then we have the opportunity or the chance to show up related to these keywords. So anyway, look, I hope you've enjoyed this. This is the first part of my five keyword tools. I really do hope that you get stuck into some of them because they're absolutely awesome. My name is Kieran Doyle. If you're new here, really appreciate a like and a subscribe if you're returning. Thanks so much for being here. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know your favorite keyword research tool. Also, I'm the creator of the Blog Profit Path, helping people start building, grow successful blogs online, utilizing great SEO techniques, and also artificial intelligence. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out. Keep it easy and thanks very much.